Hi, my name is Brian with Cario Technologies, and in this short video, I'll demonstrate the process of creating and using a diagnostic disk with the Cario control box. This will create the necessary debugging information for troubleshooting the physical hardware in case of a return merchandise authorization, or RMA. Note that we've found some USB thumb drives to have problems and aren't detected properly by the control box so it may be necessary to use a different thumb drive in case you don't have the same results as what I'm about to demonstrate. I'll be following the steps outlined in a PDF document that's in our knowledge base. The download link to the diagnostic file is also available in the PDF or from the link you see here. I'll be using a Mac to create the diagnostic disk uh, as this process requires tools that are not natively available for Windows. If you don't happen to have a Mac, there is a tool available on Windows which is freely available and is referred to within the PDF instructions. Uh, so here I've opened up Disk Utility uh, and this is going to give us some information about the USB drive uh, that is going to be helpful when I run the uh, DD command that I'll show in just a minute here. So I've gone ahead and plugged in the, the USB drive and I'll select the device and I'll right click and go to information and this way I can pull up the actual disk identifier uh, or just the name of the disk as it's recognized by the file system as it's as it's mounted and that's the uh, that root level of the name is what we're ultimately going to need when we run that uh, DD command. You'll also want to make sure that you unmount this uh, any volumes that are currently associated with that uh, USB device. So now I'm going to jump over to the terminal and we're going to use a special command, it's the DD command uh, and that will uh, help us to image the diagnostic file onto the disk. So using uh, disk utility we've already determined that the name of the USB disk is called disk1 and so now what we're going to do is issue the DD command uh, with the following parameters uh, that you'll see here. Uh, so we're using the if uh, for the source file, which is the file that you downloaded from the PDF document, uh, which is the actual image file itself for the diagnostic, and then uh, followed by uh, the second part saying of equals, and then the path to the USB stick uh, from the file system, which is in uh, slash dev. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and run this command right now. Normally it's going to take um, up to about a minute, depending on the speed of the, the USB thumb drive. Um, and in this case, and, and it doesn't have to be a large drive, I think about 64 megs should uh, easily be sufficient. Um, and again, as I pointed out earlier, if it, if it does not uh, work uh, following the rest of this um, uh, demo here, then you can uh, try a different USB stick because we have found that some of them uh, don't work very well. So uh, assuming it uh, burns successfully you will get the uh, the output and it will show you something uh, like what you see here indicating that it that it burns some data to the disk and at that point you can now insert that into the control box here I have the control box 1110 and you'll see on the back side there are two USB ports and I'm going to take the USB stick that I've imaged with the diagnostic information plug it into either of the two ports you'll see here that the box is currently turned off which you'll need to make sure it's shut down so I'm going to plug it in, turn it on and uh, I'm going to fast forward here just so that you can hear it takes about two minutes and you'll hear something like this Once you hear this sound, you know that the diagnostic tool is working. However, you'll need to wait about one hour for the diagnostic tests to complete. At that point, the box will begin to beep every 30 seconds. Once that happens, you can remove the disk, then plug it back into your computer to recover the diagnostic output. And that's the information you will then send back to technical support.